Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to talk about this contraption I built that turned my Hornaday Lock and Load AP Press into a progressive brass processing machine. I'm going to show you how I did it, the parts I used to do it. Maybe you could try it yourself. Uh, what this allows me to do is it allows me to full length size, decal, trim to length, deburr, and chamfer the case. So when it comes out, other than what you have to do with the primer pocket, if it's being uh, military brass, you can just load it. It's ready to go. Starting components to this press setup are the Hornady Lock and Load AP press and the Lee uh, Deluxe Power Quick Trimmer. And what I've done here was I took a piece of eighth inch by inch and a half flat plate steel. I drilled it and bored out for the die body in the center. I drilled it and sized these bolts to fit, be press fit into that plate and welded them from the back side. So in, in here there was a hole drilled, the back of the bolt was machined to fit that hole, it was pressed in place, and then on the bottom side it's welded and machined flat again. I used the DC775 motor. These are, are available on Amazon or eBay. I'm sure plenty of electronic shops have them. I am using a quarter inch thick, very heavy duty, some sort of fender washer, I guess it would be. I picked this up at a local surplus store. It is drilled the same. It is drilled here for the bolts to go through. It's drilled the same spacing as this plate is. And what that allows is when you put these springs on here and these nylock nuts, this will spring loaded float in that cutter die. And what happens is when the brass comes up through, it'll lift this up and as it cuts, it'll settle back down. And when it comes down against this stop, it's done cutting. If you look right here, I have removed Lee's micro adjust system. I've, I've learned that that system doesn't really work for me. I didn't find it dependable, so I bypassed it. And I'll show you what I did to use a stop to make a stop here so that I know when this is done trimming. Uh, I don't think the micro adjust is so important on the uh, when you're doing progressively sized brass. I do all of my trim length size adjustments right here with this nut and moving the die up and down the die body in the press. This is what I had to do in order to drive the Lee quick trim with the DC775 motor. The DC775 has a 5 millimeter shaft. I use the 5 millimeter coupler and then I machined the top of that to 5 millimeters. I also drilled with a counter drill at an angle that little hole which allows me to add oil which will end up going down in through the cutters to lubricate those cutters every now and then. I've really only had to do that maybe every 500 rounds. It just seems to make the cutter run a little smoother. These are the parts to the micro adjust that were removed. They were once located right here. I have replaced them with this washer. And what I did was I machined that washer so that it threads down over those threads and it gives me a nice tight fit whenever I put, put this system all together and it gives a bottoming out spot on the call on this collar and if you're using large rifle this collar is removed and it will give a place for it to bottom out on the die itself in order to evacuate the chips these were machined at 3 16 of an inch 180 degrees away they go down 2 tenths of an inch from the bottom of the cutter where the cutter rests inside the die. It leaves a cylinder in the bottom for the cutter to rotate in and prevent any kind of chattering or you know tearing up the die. In order to exhaust the chips I started off with a simple PCV PVC PVC pipe fitting and the inside of it was machined out in order to fit over the press body and over the press die. This hole was bored, this was bored, and then you can see it was shortened in order to get it down tight against 
the press the body. So what I have here in station one is a full length size and decapping die. It's the only station you can do it in a Hornady press. It's the only place they have a decapping capability. Station two is empty. Station three could be used for the trimming process. I use station four just because it's easier for me to keep an eye on it. Uh, station five then is empty as well. In order to activate the cutter, I use a piece of eight millimeter or five sixteenth hex shaft sits down inside the center bolt of the press that will go up inside the press and as you go up the stroke up stroke up on the press it'll turn the cutter on and off for power I'm just using a 12 volt 7 amp hour uh, this is a battery used for emergency lighting. It's 7 amp hour, 12 volt, and it works great for what we're doing here. And a 6 amp trickle charger, and it keeps up with it just fine. I haven't run the battery low yet. On the vacuum manifold, I hooked a piece of clear tubing. It goes down behind the back of my bench here, underneath, and inside this cabinet and that's where I'm keeping my vacuum cleaner. I did that just to try and quiet the vacuum down a little bit. It gets a little irritating to listen to it if you're if you're doing a lot of brass. So putting it inside the cabinet like that, it really did help a lot. This is what the motor shaft system would look like with minus the flywheel or anti-flywheel, that big thick washer where I use to keep the what that big heavy washer does is it not only gives a good mounting surface, but being that it's heavy. It takes the torque, like an anti-torque washer or anti-torque flywheel or something there. It keeps it from jumping around when it's turning on and off. It seems to work really well. I haven't any issues with it yet, and I think if I would have used something light there, I would have ran into trouble with it, kind of like wanting to roots the bolts real hard all the time. So now that we covered the way it was put together, let's trim some brass. Now what you end up with is full length sized, decapped, chamfered, let's see if I can get this thing to get a good picture for you, chamfered and deburred brass ready to load. So there you have it. That's how I turned my Hornaday Lock and Load AP Press into a brass processing machine. Uh, this thing has saved me so much time. Uh, it took me a little time to put together, figure out how to make everything work the way I wanted it to work. But uh, I can do a hundred rounds, depending on how hard it needs trimmed, anywhere from seven and a half, eight minutes to 10, 11 minutes so it'll pump out a thousand rounds pretty quick uh, if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments uh, probably make some videos this is my first video I, I don't know how good it is how bad it is but uh, like it subscribe if you want and uh, if you want to see anything else that we do here I mean I got a lot of different reloading things here and uh, I build a lot of crazy stuff for them. So if you want to see anything else, got a problem you need a solution for, shout it out. See if I can do anything about it. Thanks for watching.